Hello guys, Coach Fernando here. Um, today's video is going to be a full training session. Um, this is a friend of mine, his name is Homer. He's a very, very good soccer player, quite technical, uh, very quick. He's got a pretty decent shot. So uh, we'll be walking him through a, uh, a bunch of exercises to try to help him with his game. This first one, uh, he's just warming up, doing some agility side to side, quick feet through the ladder, and uh, giving some volleys right and left. Um, then we're going to move on, as we can see here, into thigh volley, same pattern, through the ladder. Uh, we're trying to hit about 10 reps with uh, each foot, at least, but uh, good reps. So if it's a bad rep, we don't count it, make sure all the reps are good, only count the good reps. Try to build some consistency, uh, be comfortable with your technique, make sure that every single rep is a good one. You cannot allow room for mistake. On this one, we're gonna do chest volley. This one's a bit more uh, complex, especially for young players. As you get older, this gets actually pretty, pretty easy. Uh, you actually learn how to master your ball with, uh, with your chest. Try not to go for the very middle of your chest, the bones there. Uh, the ball bounces a bit higher. Try to use your pecs. Uh, the side chest a little bit is easier to uh, give some cushion to that ball so it doesn't go too far out. This one's actually kind of challenging. Uh, I'm just tossing the ball at him and he has to control it with uh, his chest then with his thigh and then he has to give me a volley. So as you can see he's doing one with his right then one with his left leg. He's making it look kind of easy. It's actually not that easy. Just make sure to take your time, start nice and slow, then try to build some speed. If you take a bad touch, try to fix it, don't let the ball drop to the ground, and uh, just give it back. We are moving on to the first passing pattern, still with Agility Incorporated. Uh, he told me he's trying to get a little quicker, so we are going to try to keep the Agility component into the exercise, that way he coordinates as well. I think one of the things he struggled a bit with was his coordination, it's getting so much better. I remember we had a session a couple months ago, now he's doing much better. His passes are sharp, make sure the passes are firm, no sloppy passes, make sure everything is uh, nice and tidy. Each rep should be about 30 seconds long. It's actually a pretty, pretty tiring drill. I know it's short space, but he's moving actually very quick and he's really not taking any any rest in between. He's actually resting about 10, 15 seconds and then he goes right back at it again. We went for about four sets of this. We did, yeah, four sets of 40 seconds each and we rested 20 uh, seconds in between. So it was actually very, very exhausting. For this progression, the pattern is going to be the exact same as the last one. Now instead of passing, he's doing uh, volleys. He's giving them back to me. He's doing it with his right on the right side. He's doing it with his left on the left side. See how quick his feet are moving. He is not getting sloppy. He stays on top of it. He's going as fast as he can. He's really, really focusing on this drill. Now for this progression, we are going to do a volley right after you get done with the ladder then you go back and as you're checking forward I'm gonna send the ball a little lower as you can see so he can do a half volley the half volley technique is actually very good to master the ball is a lot of times bubbling in the during the game so you gotta make sure you adjust and you know how to deal with a ball that is bouncing make sure that if you want to pass it you pass it where it goes if you want to finish it you finish it in the right place make sure every single touch is a good touch in the game the less mistakes the better player you'll be This pattern is actually a bit more game realistic, he's trying to turn, playing a 1-2 with the board, then checking out to the right side or the left side, he can go either way, he has the freedom to go whichever way he wants. He's trying to adjust his body according to my pass, which is doing a pretty good job at it. It's way tougher than it looks guys, don't be deceived, they're like, oh yeah, this is an easy drill, it's actually not easy. Make sure all the touches are sharp, one little pass, if you pass the ball at, a right, at, the, at the wrong angle, then you'll mess it up, you'll start knocking down cones, it's not good. We moved right after to some shooting. We are using the board as the rebounder to play the one two. He's just trying to work on that uh, finishing from the side. He plays mostly as a winger, so he, this is pretty much his signature movement. He's you know dribbling, taking on players, plays a one two with a target striker, gets the ball back, tries to get a finish from the side. He's actually doing pretty good.
yeah. you can see, he's not going as fast as he can. We, uh, we're we taking this round a little easy, you know, to get the leg warmed up. But uh, you'll see on the next round, the speed Maybe. improves uh, quite a bit. On this one, he's driving down the line, doing a skill, cutting through the gate, finishing on the far post. Nice. That was actually good a pretty one. good finish. Very good skill there from Homer. Finish not the best, but you can see that you gotta get creative, gotta think of new skills, new ways to try to take on defenders. On this one, he just plays a 1 2 with the board, finds me, I'm acting as a target striker. We're making sure that every shot's a good shot, more than actually looking for speed, we're working on shot accuracy. On this one, he's playing the pass off the board, and I'm forcing Homer to take a good touch, trying to put himself in a good place so he can get a quality finish. Make sure that that touch is a touch that you intend it to be perfect to set up your perfect shot so you can actually score. Lastly, we did a quick round, just about five, six balls. I'm just crossing the ball on the ground. He's trying to hammer it hard into the bottom corners. Thank you guys so much for watching. Many more good videos coming in 2019. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for supporting FTB Soccer. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.